Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome to the year 1967. Imagine yourself in the forest, near the mountains. The sun is probably in the sky. There's clouds, as you can see. The sky is a nice cerulean color. There's a little bit of fog coming across the horizon, over the coast of a lake, perhaps. And you're in Germany, West Germany, 1967. I'm not very up to snuff on my history, so I'm sure there's probably some significance there, but I don't know what it is. Welcome to Trooper Book, version 1.16, as it says on the bottom of the screen. This is what am I? This is my indie game of this week. Um, it looked pretty. It still looks pretty. To my knowledge, I believe it's a point-and-click type adventure type game. Maybe a mystery involved here somewhere. Not too sure. I'm loving this wooden pencil right here. It's a very fine craftsmanship. Like this little, it's like a little little coin over here. I don't know what denomination of coin that's supposed to be. Um, I would say it's a German mark, but I'm probably off the mark there. Wink. Anyway, let's get this started. Um, I'm this is t I'm totally starting totally fresh. I don't know how far I'll go with this, but we'll see. Let's give it a check out. This is the pre-title. I'm pulling into a gas station, and it appears this is me. By the way, hopefully this Sorry, doesn't pal. sound really, really. Oh my god, that is really intense. All right. Let's see if we can fix you up here. Let me back on the turn road. down the volume a little bit. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. This sounds good. I think this sounds good. I was trying to do my audio test earlier on, and I genuinely could not tell how loud this game was supposed to get. It was very, very quiet, but I wanted to make sure that we could hear the crickets. I can hear crickets. I hope everyone else can hear crickets. We'll see how this goes. I am at a gas station. I know not what I have in store here, but it looks like I can click on things. Supposedly there's controller support for this, but... Oh, I see. I could just... Oh, I can actually walk around. I didn't know that. No, I don't want to do that. Do I just... Ah, I click. I see. I see. Well, there's plenty of things to check out. This is my bike. I'm going to touch my bike. Not a chance. I need to find some gas, gas and engine coolant first. Okay. Gas and engine coolant. Well... The ice cream cone over here seems like it would have coolant, perhaps? Maybe? I wish. It's frozen shut. Frozen shut. Okay. What if I investigate? At least the cold chain is unbroken. That's that's at least good. Okay, so I need to unthaw this or maybe whack it open. Let me What about this toolbox? There's gotta be something in the toolbox. That toolbox. Yeah, it is a good thing that you forgot your toolbox, because I'm gonna use it and touch it with my finger. Yo, what it do, pretty boy? What's going on there, sexy man? Only some rusty I am pliers. attempting to figure out my way through West Germany. Oh, pliers. I have pliers now. Surely I can open this up with pliers? No? Can I Can I see my inventory somehow? Can I jump? Oh, if I click and hold the space bar, I can click on things in the air. Whoa! What's going on up here? I can look at the stars. Some of these constellations seem familiar. Oh, do they? Do they? Oh my goodness. Dom's over here just drinking and playing some Miles Morales. A little bit of Spider-Man in there. An excellent choice, although I haven't exactly played it myself. I like the Spider-Man games, the concept of them. I used to love it when I was little. Hansens. I'm I guess I'm German too, perhaps. I'm gonna go inside. I can speak to the wall. Speak to the wall. Um <laughs> Meals on Wheels, it's me. Hello. I'm the one bringing you your food. Please let me in. Um, can you please let me in? I'm not a vampire. Please let me in. I'm totally not a vampire. I, I had no idea that this game had a voice actor to it, so let's let's go for it. Can I unlock the door? Oh, with the pliers. How should I open the door with you first, the pliers? How should I do it? I don't know. Um, can I open this? No. Can I open the gas station? I am gonna open up the gas pump. It's just one short circuit before everything blows up into my face. I completely agree there. What a great idea. Probably shouldn't be messing around with the flammables. Can I fix my bike? Those pliers won't help me with that. Well, thanks for giving me the option, dude. What else can I click on? I didn't realize this was a thing I could do. Oh, the pipe? I can touch the pipe. I wonder if there's something in the pipe. <laughs> Dom is a European mutt with tons of Irish. No way. Nice. I've got a bit of Germany in me. Oh, two key. Nice. I've got German in me, in me. I've got Italy in me. I've supposedly got Hungarian in me. Um, my mother also says that I've got some Czechoslovakian as well. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a mutt too. And is mostly the the Italian, a little bit of German. Locked the oh, 
I didn't pick up the key. Silly me. I should pick up the key, then I can unlock the door. Alright, I see. I see this. Anna's mostly German. Nice. 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 So much. So much going on. too easy. Everyone's got their ethnic history and background. Can I come in now? There's there's no sense of me speaking this again. Can I back out of this? No, I cannot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Controls. Point and click. Walk and interact. Double click to power walk. If I click the bar, I can show my inventory and hotspot indicator. So my inventory is... Hello, anybody there? Hello? Hello? Ooh. Anybody in there? Anybody? I could really use some gas. Give me your gas. So if I click the bar, I have space. I don't know what I'm supposed to use for my inventory. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to open the door. I have a key now. Easy. Nice. Dom says he's got some Czech blood as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Pitch blood. Once upon a time, I was told it was the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Or perhaps it still is that. I don't exactly remember. I don't know if Czechoslovakia is still a place anymore, to be honest. I'm really, really bad with geography. Okay, what else? What else, what else can I click on? Can I turn the lights on? Hello? Something funny about that picture. My goodness, it'd be great if I could look at it, but I cannot. What else is there? I can, I can power walk up. I <laughs> my power walk. Yeah, you get him. Yeah, you get him. What else can I click on? Anything? There's nothing else to click on. Okie dokie. I guess there's nothing of interest in here, so I guess I'll go back outside. It is the Republic now. Now Czechoslovakia is the Czech Republic. I have learned it did something today. I can click on this bench now. Penetrable darkness, legions oh. of bugs, and that awful smell of gasoline everywhere. This sure could make a nice place for a picnic. Now, why would you think? I don't know if the smell of gasoline makes for a very good picnic, to be perfectly honest, but I mean, I respect that that's like your thing. Supposedly, there are some wines out there that taste of gasoline, and I've never had one of those because I've never tasted something that tasted like gasoline, or rather, tasted the way that gasoline smelled. But, uh, I'm interested. Say. Flawless establishment needs flawless, flawless window panes. Okay, um. Alright. I didn't click on the gas station thing. Oh, I also didn't click this thing. What is that? At the very at the very least, I'm glad that it has a hotspot indicator, or else I would get completely lost. Oh, nice. Very promising. Gas station. I wonder if there's more areas that can walk off screen. There probably is. Beacon in the dark. Tiny rock. Can I walk off screen? Is there places for me to go? Can I walk around? Go to the back? Go to the front? Maybe? Somewhere? Anywhere? Oh, I don't have any more inventory items. Is there more that I can use my... Oh, can I walk around back? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Can I walk around the back? I cannot, it seems. I didn't see anything inside. Oh, maybe I did miss something. Alright, well, I can't touch this anymore. I don't think. I don't see anything else worth clicking, it seems. Couldn't open that. I'll go back inside. Maybe I missed something inside. Should I have talked to the photo? Oh, I didn't look at the photo. I should look at the photo. Something funny about that. Okay, maybe I need to click it now. Now can I click the photo? Oh. A hidden Lol. Switch. Look at that. A hidden switch. I knew it. I always knew. Well, I'll click that button. Don't mind me. <laughs> this must be the main fuse. Boop. Turn the gas on. Hey, there we go. Everything's so lit up now, and now I can click on things. Okay, what about this conduit? Can I unplier it? Electrical cables. Yeah, touch it. Electrocute yourself. Z now, now, why would I want to cut the power? Okay, that's fine. I, uh, now, nothing is electrified now. Nothing about that car. There's so many photos. What are your thoughts on all the photos? Home. Back in my home, we had mountains. Well, there wasn't actually a mountain. There, there wasn't really a mountain. There was a cliff, like which developed because people were like blasting in the back of, like way back in the woods of water, which kind of created a cliff. But it's not really a mountain, I guess per se. Although there's mountains around my area of growth, I suppose. Junktown Mountain. Near the Lehigh Valley. Ooh, a cup. Okay, I can probably use that to siphon out gas. I'm glad that that was my first thought. I wonder if these postcards will ever reach their destination. Well, I mean, the fact that there's nobody here would imply that there's nobody to sell them. Quiet off the beaten track. Oh, well, I guess just I don't have to be something to purchase. I don't have to buy them. I can just steal them. 
Interesting. Can I steal this cake too? Mm. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. Dude, what's your deal with cherry pie and hot coffee? What about this stuff? The the bottles look dusty? I'll show you dusty. I was messing around with some things at work today and I found a very, very dusty area and I blew right into it and I was squeezing for the rest of the day. I got way, way too much dust in my lungs. But I guess that's covered by insurance, right? Something I can't stand is cherry pie and hot coffee. Why? What's wrong with cherry pie and hot coffee? All I have left or maybe it's just two things. Like, it must be two different things. Maybe she's not a fan of cherry pie or hot coffee. Neither one of them does the trick for this person. Which, I mean, I guess I can understand that. Oh, a jukebox. Oh, I clicked outside the game. <laughs> nice. OBS is active. No, I do not want to exit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. No, please do not. I almost cut the entire stream off because my my cursor went off screen and almost clicked the exit button. That would have been unfortunate. We would have just started things back up again. All right, so now that I have this eerie ass music playing, does this sound too loud? The sound test didn't go so well. This is, this is literally I, I can't tell how loud this sounds from everybody else's perspective, but I hope it's okay. Now that I have the power on, I guess uh, I'll go touch the gas. Sounds great. Sounds awesome. This is good. Usually I try to do my audio test before things happen, but when it comes to things like this where I don't get a proper sound level in the beginning screen, the beginning screen was literally just sounds of like crickets and birds and rustling of leaves, which was very, very low. I got to listen to the credits though. Which I thought gave me a pretty good representation, but I don't think it did. Not okay. I have found a way to cool down the oh, I need coolant. Well, if I want coolant, then surely I'd be able to use this straw to open up the ice cream. <laughs> Naturally, right? Right? No, don't tell me I- Cold as ice. Exactly what I need. Oh. Right. Right. Cold water. I'm gonna pour cold water. Cold water on a metal engine there you go. Have, some have some kool-aid yeah i'm gonna put the, yeah that's 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 great that's that's wonderful now i can fill up the bike i guess that makes sense no complaints over on dom's side i can always message me uh message dom to give you ideas on the sounds and such oh i appreciate that that's a good idea usually what i can do is i can if i'm live i have my I have my surface down here that i should be able to listen to things to however not during. Oh, I guess I did the pre-title. Hmm. I guess I try to I try to keep myself as out of the loop as possible for games like this. Oh, this is ooh. Oh, ooh, this is spicy music. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Dude, the Surface is nice. The Surface is a great computer. The Surface Go, I would not recommend. I'm not a fan of the Surface Go. That was it's been serving me quite well for the last couple of years. However, not for what an engineer has to do. All right, well, this is pretty so far. I've never actually seen a vehicle be able to go up these, like, like wooden platforms and stuff like that. Are there actually bridges like this out in Germany? What an interest, what a wonderful country. I've been to Germany once in my life, and it was a rather nice place when I went there. Also, it looks incredibly dangerous, but it looks very pretty. And it, only, and it only stuttered for a quick second there. Things look pretty because the computer handles it. I promise. I promise. I promise the computer can handle it. Yeah, and look at how many people worked with the game. I like... This has that classic style of, like, the the people who worked... Like, you kind of get, like, a pre-credits, and you also get a post-credits, which I think, like... I mean, I used to have a problem with that because I'm like, oh, come on, man. I'm just going to watch the credits at the end. Why you got to put it in the middle of the movie? But honestly, if you have, like, a scene like this where you're trying to portray like, hey, this is the world around you, here's a little bit of exposition, then you might as well throw through some people's names on the screen. That way we can get, at least get some credit in there where credit is due. And for all I know, I might not even make it all the way to the credits. I probably won't. So, now we get the credit work right in the beginning. So everybody can see who's worked on the game. Resident Evil film crew. This game, like, I wonder whether they, like, 
animated it or whether they did like a because it looks very clay like it looks like everything was made of like clay and models and whatnot and it looks it's beautiful i like it i would not be surprised if like this was all like done in some sort of modeling software that allows you for you to do like the clay type animations and whatnot when i was younger i remember doing some like stop motion stuff with legos with my younger brother and i've seen like plenty of like clay stuff nowadays clay stop motion that stuff is super cool super cool indeed hmm. <clears throat> and now we continue it is so it is so pleasant so far i don't know whether this was like supposed to be like a horror game or anything like that i don't think it's tagged as a horror game i think it's just I can't tell. I think it's just an adventure game. Alright, well now I can hear the rumble of the engine. Oh, and there's a dude! You sure oh. This is the right place? Yes? When's oh. the next bus back to the city? I, I don't know. Why are you asking me, sir? Or perhaps you're asking the people off screen. Oh. Beverly, I have arrived. Beverly. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void. Dark void of Europe. I am an American. You can tell I'm an American. The best, the best vacation, vacation ever. ever. I'm out here searching for the best things. vacation ever, and I'm gonna find it today. Here in Germany. Welcome to Germany. Beverly, where is my coffee? Where's my Beverly? Where is my Beverly? Beverly, what does the sign say? My inner voice is what I'm calling Next Beverly today. It's like a thousand miles away. That's a gross exaggeration there, Beverly. If that's your real name. Ah, yes. ah, where am I? Would you like to pronounce it for me? It looks like Trooper Brook, but that's because of my fourth dimensional knowledge, because I exist outside of the game. My gateway to the outside world. Well, that gateway didn't serve you very well, didn't it? Or wouldn't that be your exit way to the outside world? Oh, we got te we got um, look at that. We got some credits as we continue in the game too. That's cool. Check out this doc. Excuse me. Hey, oh doc. Well, don't nope don't go much farther oh don't jump it nope don't do it don't. looks cold yeah it does look pretty cold why aren't you wearing like a winter jacket or anything like that it looks like are you wearing socks sir why wouldn't you be wearing socks out there clearly you were not prepared for the cold weather of trooper book germany hotties boot fossen and I don't, I don't know what that says. I have a very hard time reading cursive. I'm like an... Oh. Souvenirs, fishing supplies. Well, I read the Hades part, buddy. Beverly. I knew that. Oh, what's on the menu? Aside from what you literally just said. Hello. Paddleboat rental. One yeah. hour, one Deutschmark. Deutschmark. Deutschmarken. German marks. German marks. All right, so that is the currency. Nice. I mean, we are in the year 1967, I think it was. The upper section has been torn off. Oh, well, that's that's a little creepy. That the top part of the map would be torn off. It's interesting. <laughs> Tom's like, I'm not dyslexic or anything, but same. Nah, I literally can't read that. I see Bort, a fair line, an Anlenk, Anlenken, Aulenken, might be. But I don't know that translation, so I just got to take this dude's word for it. I'm supposing this man speaks German. That would be my assumption there. But alas, assuming nowadays is not the best thing to do. What is it? Oh, I can just move into the forest? I will touch the forest. Touch the entrance to the forest and keep walking in. Weird. You'd think that I would find... All right, a town. That That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, would there be a town? Is that a fox? Yo, fox. Arrived at Beverly. destination after a short walk. Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit Trubberbrook. Loud. Beverly. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. I have fallen in love with this town, Beverly. Let me tell you more about Beverly. They sell ice dealer. Which I'm guessing has something to do with ice cream, perhaps? I don't know. This is a quaint little place. I want to touch the fox. Look at the fox. Is one strange looking cat. That is not a cat, but you're going to touch it anyway because I told you to. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was... Unfortunately misleading. I can't get the bucket down from there. Oh, I assure you, buddy, with this point-and-click adventure game, I'm sure that it's not just decorative at all. Ooh. I never had any wooden fences in my neighborhood. None of the sorts. We had a metal fence, 
surrounding my parents' backyard. That was all there was. And it attempted to keep the dogs in. Although, to be perfectly honest, it really didn't. We had we had a couple dogs. We've had many dogs over the years. And a couple of them have found their way to dig underneath the fence, There's go around the fence, all different ways to get out. <gasps> Charcuterie? Stiftkürzer? Schlagte Platter? Parthocker? Tote Oma? Nice. I think Oma is... God. Well, it could be... I actually, I don't know what Oma is. I was going to say it's grandmother, but I don't believe it is, because that's... Grossmutti. Grossmutter. Like the grand... Great. great. The great mother. The great father. Mobius Blast. Record. Wait, I can record things now? I guess I have a camera. Record. Mobius. Beverly? Oh, nice. I the local movie theater, Mobius Palace. The favorite the... <laughs> genres around here appear to be Western and Noir. Is that what this is supposed to be? Gilly Moon. I nope, can't read that. I think that last part says Dort, though. I don't know what a Dort is. I'm realizing that for this game, the purposes of this game, I don't speak enough German to understand what's going on. Luckily, we have this dude. Complete nonsense from a quantum mechanical perspective. Oh, are you a quantum mechan mecha? <laughs> can't speak are you a quantum mechanicist that's cool i'm guessing i mean if you're the person who's talking about quantum mechanics then you must be a quantum mechanicist or a physicist i guess that would actually make sense evening yo yo girl hey you're not beverly you're not my beverly where is my beverly can i check into this hotel <laughs> there, huh? doesn't seem so hmm well, I never call it your name. Perhaps I should ask you your name. What's your name? Where is everyone? What's your name? I saw someone here just a minute ago. Oh, really? Is that true? I don't know about that. Any idea? Tell me just more. Try again. Nope, no, no. Tell me what more. Now? I will just try again. Ah, uh, but I don't want to try again just yet. You tell me more. This place seems like it's falling out of time and space somehow. Oh, is that a concept? Oh, that feels plot relevant. Where is everyone? I saw someone here just a minute ago. Oh, now we're going back. All right, try again. Bill. Hello? Bing! Ring the bell. Dude, ring the bell. I'm not going to give up. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Do it. Come on, put some more thought into that. Oh, hi. Oh. Why, hello there. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um. Um, there's a room reserved for me. Are you rubbing a giant glass? You know the, the lottery? It's a really large glass. I want to stay over here. That glass is ginormous. That's like... How can you win that's like bigger than this candle. Well, <laughs> dude reminds me of Jimmy Neutron's dad. This this dude definitely has like... um. Oh my god, what was his name? This winning notification. Jimmy's dad. Jimmy's dad, what was his name? I don't remember. What's Hugh! Name? Hugh Neutron. <laughs> he does seem like Hugh Neutron. Um, Name. Name. I am a doctor. Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Hans Tannhauser. Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Tannhauser. All right. I thought it might have been Tannhauser. Tannhauser. Eleven. <laughs> That's a good one. That's funny. Ask him if he likes ducks. Say, is it a quiet room? Hey, buddy. Seeking some peace and quiet. Do you like ducks? Well, I'm working on a text. This just in. Beverly, I just wanted to let you know. Are you a kind of writer? This man is asking me if I like ducks. I think he's on to me. I. In a broader sense, I work for a. You know what? Yeah, I am a physicist. I'm a physicist. Yeah, you are. You are now. Now I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. Quantum physics out here in Trubber. <laughs> I love that. I've heard worse than physicists out here in Trubberbrook. Oh my god. Around these days. But apart from that. I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Well, I mean, up until this point, I pretty much thought I was alone. Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. Trude. I like that name. Where are all the other guests? Look behind you, dipshit. Well, respectfully, Dr. Tenhauser, look behind you, you little dipshit. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. Oh, why are you staring directly at the camera? Dude, Hans. What the hell was that? Oh, and then Trula was also looking too. Oh my. Dom says that he's something of a scientist himself. Well, I'm a scientist. Cyan. 
I don't know where I was going with that. I don't have any puns planned for this one. Oh my god. What, what the frig was that? Whoa. Oh. Please, you've got to help me. Oh, there's ghosts. All right, there's this a horror game. Spooky. Is this going to be like a realization story for this quantum physics man? He's going to be like, I thought I was a physicist, a quantum mechanicist. I thought I believed in science. Beverly, I've now found God. I'm staying in Germany and I'm never coming back. Yeah, chase him down. He took your paper. That's what you do to a man who takes your paper. You just chase him down. Also, ectoplasm must be remnants of Boron's past. Goo. It's phantasmagoric. Touch your bag. Don't want to mess up the crime scene. Dude, they're your belongings. This man sure has some restraint saying, you know what? My belongings are now a part of a crime scene. I will not touch any of it. Nope. Or else I might detract from the survey. Well. And he's even got a bone to pick with taxidermy. Actually, that's not really... I guess... It's not taxidermy if it's just skull, right? Like, that wouldn't really make sense to me. Because taxidermy is like stuffing animals, but there's no... This is like the opposite. It's like the inside of the animal, the parts that you would remove for the taxidermy. So I don't exactly know if there's a word for like... There, there must be a word out there for like taxidermy, except it's just animal bones. I'm unfamiliar with that word if one such exists. Creepy. Some kind of a sea monster. Well, if you thought it was a sea monster, I thought it was a worm. <laughs> And by a worm, I mean a worm. Big long. Oh, Hans, did you not realize that you just knocked out the thing? No, no, no. Go back upstairs. Go back upstairs and fix yourself. Go back. What did I tell you? Back upstairs. Go. Yeah, get up there. Yes, it does leave to the rooms. Go back upstairs and clean that shit up. Come on. Pfft. Stupid American. No respect for the German heritage and culture. Not even the surroundings. He probably just killed an ancient. Relic. Reception opening hours, Monday to Saturday, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And what Sundays, day is it today? Legal holidays. Öffnungszeiten der Reception, Montag bis Samstag, 12 Uhr bis 18 Uhr, Sonn und Feier, Feier? Feiertags. I guess that's legal holidays. I never do that word. Feiertags. Nice. Legal holidays. I've learned something new today. What about on the wall? Oh, those are the keys. So many well, I'll just take so this key <laughs> for myself. Or not. That's fine. We can just look at the These fishing rods, too. The only thing fishy around here. Oh, Hans, you again with the puns. I actually quite appreciate that. I like a game that has a couple of nice puns. <laughs> They're called meat strippers. Best you can give you. Nice. The meat strippers. Oh, goodness gracious. Like when you... Ugh. Like the name for like the bone, the people who take the bones. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, people who would remove the bones, strip the meat. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense in a rather disturbing and oddly specific me uh, way. Touch the door. Go outside. Go, Hans. <laughs> How do you open doors? Eh? Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. Darkest Nights. Who is this woman? Is this a person from the gas station? I don't know why I'm British today. Ma'am. 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 Oh, yo. Hey, what's hey going there. on? Taking a little night stroll. I am. I am. What about you? Someone was in my room. Oh, yeah? Are you drunk, ma'am? You only just got here and you already have secret admirers. Are you speaking on behalf of yourself? A burglar, I think. Why are you gonna be so mean? Well... I haven't seen anyone so Okay, well now you're trying to be helpful. I think I can respect I that. Do, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. Wow. Well, what a great idea. As a quantum physicist, you'd think I would follow the trail of proof a little more clearly. No. Apparently not. <laughs> There's apparently not a real name for people who just do the, the bone stuff. They just kind of do it. Well, that's something I've learned new today. Meat strippers. <laughs> it's funny. You wouldn't you think that all strippers are meat strippers? Unless they're literally just bone, I guess. And flesh? Flesh isn't considered meat, I don't think. Or maybe it is. Eh, I guess it is. Maybe the ghosts who would be revealed by exploring quantum physics want to stay hidden. 
Ma'am, tell me more. Tell me more about Trip Rook. Like love ghost stories. Oh. They pray to the spirits of the Oh. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits. Oh my goodness. These proto Germans. This guy was an evil spirits? I'm a physicist. Spirits? I don't believe in that stuff. Nonsense. I was just trying to mess with you. Yeah, it's nonsense. What it's was nonsense. Your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. Nice. A respectful I field. Just so happen to be my special subject. Interesting. One of them is supposed to be somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. We're dealing with dead indigenous peoples. Gretchen, well met. Well met, my well, friend. With our know. powers combined of anthropology and quantum physics, there's no way that the ghosts can I'm catch us off guard. Oh, you're a smoker? Like you Buddy, Hans. You're ruining the glory of the mountains. That's what the that's what the ghosts are gonna get him for. They're just like, Hans, you literally snuffed out a cigarette on my grave. What is wrong with you? Who knows? Maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. Ooh. What you call it? Physics, mechanics, physics. Okay. Are we actually scratching backs now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. To meet the mountain spirits? No thanks. I already have an appointment, and I'm so much of an interest. No, 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 no. I, I want to be fully into this, but apparently I don't have an option to be. Let's call an exorcist. Ha! I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Uh, oh, you didn't. I didn't have a choice there. <laughs> she just went for it. That's respectful. I get that, Gretchen. I understand, Gretchen. Thank you. That's also what our friend thought. Hmm. Oh, the cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine. Dude, just flick the stick cigarette out into the world. It's gonna catch a thing on fire. Do you not know Smokey the Bear? Are you not from America? Jeez, dude. It's gonna start a fire later. Literally, the entire plot of this game is gonna be you flick the cigarette onto my grave. Or you were about to. I knew you were going to, so I took your quantum mechanics paper away from you. The master key is missing and the weasel damaged the electric mains. You were very knowledgeable in electronics, and I love that in, in a person. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Okie dokie. you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Master key also, for the cable car. The broken mains. Ah, here's the puzzle part. I gotta figure out the puzzle. Let's go. All right. It's going to be fun. Okay. Can you remind me what it is that I needed, ma'am? Tell me again. What I need again? Hi. Uh. Nah, that's fine. Just wanted to say hi. That and I also wanted to flirt with you, but I wasn't going to give you the option. Don't forget we need to get the cable car working. But of course, but of course, yeah. Well, first of all, we need to fix this here. So I'm going to record the electrical main. It's a well-known fact that weasels have a dangerously loving affection towards all sorts of cables. The present case suggests a rather impressive specimen. Very large weasel. Last resort, self-termination. Self-termination. The only solution after this is suicide is what I hope he doesn't be by self-termination. Probably. No, no, yeah. It's definitely grabbing two wires and allowing him to be the termination between the two wires, which is not a good idea. I would not do that. Hmm. Oh, it's locked. That's unfortunate. Hey, look, more electrical mains. Let's touch them. Let's tell Beverly about my desire to touch high-voltage electrical wires. Beverly. I'm gonna try to bring back the spark in our relationship. Over and out, Beverly. Over and out. Phone booth. Touch it. Record. Beverly. Time Captain's log. No man. Not even in Trogerbro. I discovered a modern telecommunication system further uptown. This might be important to anybody wondering if the world is still turning at the end of the line. I guess we still had phone booths in the sticks in the sixties. That makes sense. Certainly didn't have much of a telephone system yet, I don't believe. I don't think the uh, the cell network was up at that point. Box. Ooh, a box. What can I use a box for? Maybe I can use this telescope. I think the box will allow me to get up on top of something. I'll use it as a surface to stand on. Which is, actually, that's probably not going to be the case. Because if it were the case, then, you know, it wouldn't be just a cardboard box. I don't think I could stand on a cardboard box. It would just flatten beneath me. But perhaps I can use it for something else. Hello, sir. Oh, I like your helmet. Dude, nice helmet. Good morning. Excuse this me. Bald, sir. Excuse me, sir. Um, can you tell me about the cable car? Wondering about that cable car. Yeah. I don't want to think about the old cable car. 
This wobbling table is simply unbearable. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I see. So if I fix your wonky ass table, then I will be able to gain your trust and learn what you know about quantum mechanics. What the hell is a quantum mechanic? I just want my table fixed. Town fair tonight with a band and a raffle. Ooh, raffle time. Not only did this dude get a free trip out here, but also he's going to figure out uh, he's going to win all the raffle tickets. The provides TV reception for the guest house. TV. Wait. If they have TV, then that also means that they know about propaganda. If they have the propaganda, whose side are they on? I don't know. Well, let's see. What? Let me think about what I can use a cardboard box for. Um, table? No. I mean, I could use... If your table's wobbling, I could just, like, take pieces of the cardboard and put it underneath. Oh, man, somebody broke into this thing last night. They changed the shape. And it's smoldering? Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. Literally. So, it's still smoldering. Interesting. No, no, no. This is what really happened. It wasn't struck by lightning. You flicked your cigarette so far off the cliff that it actually set the thing on fire. And that's this knight still smoking that stogie that you left for him. Silly dude. Maybe I can get this pale by using my... Nope. How about this But No? Okay. Wooden fences always remind... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard about your old neighborhood already. Clearly, you miss home, and you decided to come out here. I can apparently go back. I can go back out here. What do you use this cardboard box for? Oh, look! It's the it's little dude! This cat again. That's not a cat, dude! Or maybe it's supposed to be like an artist's rendition of the cat. I don't know. Hey, look! <laughs> a tree! Tell me about the tree! What's in the tree, buddy? Tree? <laughs> a beautiful, me. healthy tree. Beautiful, healthy tree. Platinus, the sycamore maple. Apparently, not only is he a quantum physicist, but he also has an extensive knowledge about foliage. Which is surprising. Can I have a cat tail? Oh, this is totally useful, right? I'm gonna touch the cat with the cat tail. That's some sturdy, full-grown weed. That's a sturdy, full-grown weed if I ever saw one. And now it's on my desk. Well, now I got a sturdy, <laughs> sturdy full-grown weed. <laughs> Moving on, then. What about this trees? These trees? Well, what can I do with a reed? New options? No. New options? No. New options? No. All right. Can I jump off of the pier? No. Can't use this boat either. Well, maybe I can touch the cat with the reed. Touch the cat with the reed? No. That is not an option, apparently. That's nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. Oh, you hush up out there. I can touch this again. What does it do? Is it locked? Okay, so I bet if I find whatever the key thing is, I can open up this box and also the box on top of the mountain. But I need to find... Can I touch this with a stick? No. How about this with a stick? Nope. Stick? No. Stick? I actually didn't look into the window this time around. Is there still charcuterie? There's a selection of local charcuterie. Shh. More charcuterie. Nope. Nope. N oh, wait, wait, wait. Touch. Touch with the... I already talked to Beverly about that. Can't do that. I could also record about that, but I don't feel the need to. Um, can I poke you with a stick, sir? I cannot. Let me talk about your hat. This table, it has a wobble. Everything's going down the drain around here. It starts with a wobbly table and then ends with a revolution. Well, maybe I can poke somebody with a stick inside. Through the... Are you inside? Hi! Whoa! Okay, door's open over here. Hi, Tula. How are you, Tula? You're pretty. I like you. Good morning, Tula. Hmm. I love the way you call me Tenhauser. I can be your Elevenhauser if you want. Uh, tell me about the cable car. This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. You're the one who has the charm, Tula. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? Please do. The cable car leads up to the old mine. Up mine? It used to belong Not my mind, your mind. That's nah, actually her mind. Then well, this company from mm. overseas forced him to sell it. Oh, that's sad. Who is Baron von Sulz? Exactly is this Baron von Sulz? Is that the dude outside? Baron von Sulz used to run the mine, a philanthropist, patron of the arts. Oh, he was into art. I'm into art. I'm not much of a much of a philanthropist. I don't have much of my money to throw around to be philanthropic. Although I am told to be magnanimous on occasion. I like to buy other people's snacks at work. If I'm going out to get my own coffee, then I might as well buy something for my co-workers. 
One of them always I always buy a banana for. One of them I usually also get a smoothie for. And the other one I buy lunch for every once in a while, because we're all we're all friends for the most part. What were the mining for? What's this mysterious what company? This mysterious company you were talking of. Yeah, they made the they dude sell it. Millennium Cooperative or something like that. The Millennium Cooperative att attempting to cooperative. find all the Millennium items. The Perhaps they already have the puzzle, eye, staff, the and Exodia. Way up to the highest circles of power. Deep pockets. What became of the miners? What became of the people working the mines? More and more outside I didn't realize how lore heavy this game was. This is cool. What they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? And I'm gonna do the research of like who did this who did this game after this. See if there's more information I can find out. This is this is so pleasant. That was before it looks nice, sounds nice. I like the kind of story they're building here. Do you know? It's cool. I've thinking a lot about stories recently. I'm I played, played the one D&D type thing the other day, and I think I'll be playing another D&D thing in about a week or so, and then another thing is custom enough as well. A lot of things going on in my life right now, in a good way. I also started learning how to embroider as well. I don't have my thing around here, also show it off. Maybe I'll, sh I'll show it off on Wednesday. Why did they shut it down? They shut down the mine. There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly... People started disappearing without a trace. The ghosts who were interested in quantum physics. They were killed. It all makes sense now. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But no good. nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. Nah, I respect it, Trude. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years. This is a spa? As you can see for yourself. Wait, is this a spa? Would you wrap up the whole story in Would detail for me? Give me the, give me the whole TLDR. Again? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Zülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. Interesting. Thank you, Tulda. Thank you. Appreciate else you. I can do for you? Uh... Nah, that's fine. I like I'll it. Be leaving, then. Thank you. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, so the spa? cafe is open. Please help yourself. But I want to find more about the spa. Is this a spa? Maybe the buffet's through this door. I want to eat. Give me some food. Locked. Locked, of course. The buffet is covered in flies and whatnot. All right, nice. Can I touch your television? Let's change the channel. Please don't stand there. Excuse me. Didn't mean to. Yeah, Hans. Never seen a TV before? Dude. Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. I wonder if it's about going to space. Have you been living under a rock? I literally just got here. You said you can take journeys to other worlds. Oh. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. That's because I'm new. I'm new to Germany. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm a physicist. Yeah. Uh, depends, it depends really. Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey oh. Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. Your... Actually, I'm assuming that Tulda is your mother. I shouldn't be assuming such things. I don't see the resemblance, though. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Close. Omega-3 is a fatty acid. I love that. I love that. Come on, that's applesauce. Applesauce? What are you talking about, applesauce? I mean, I don't know if there's any essential oil or um, <laughs> omega threes in applesauce. Cybernetician. Wave pool supervisor, astronaut, parent, quantum physicist. I gotta keep my story straight. Quantum physicist. Quantum what? I mean, it's basically space. Nice. Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rolands into thin air with her space beams. Oh, nice. So, Space beans. <laughs> Brilliant aliens. Well, we're Berliners. Therefore, we can actually become jelly donuts. I can make incredible amounts of candy. If you're referring to my bank deposit, I can make nosy kids disappear. This seems like a threat. And everyone knows that Hans is a threatful individual. Yeah, that was... that. You're right. You're right, Lenny. I really shouldn't have said that. You mean advertisements? My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. Like the people in the mines? Aware, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. Oh? Your uncle's a wizard? Wait, what do I have to do to make you tell me? That also feels like a threat. 
Hans, you just so, rascal. What do I have to do to make you tell me? Hmm, there's only one thing I can think of. You have to buy me. You're not an earthling. Can you prove that I'm not an earthling? I'll think of something to prove that I'm not an earthling. Well, this is me talking to my mothership. Look, this is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic captain's log. Beverly, spaceship Beverly, where are you? Please. My pleasure. There you go. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My <laughs> uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room three. Room three? That happens to be my room. What a coincidence! My uncle Heinz lived. Did he die? And where is your uncle now? Is he dead? My mom says he is now living on planet no good. In jail or dead or both. That's sad. Well, I should grab whatever this thing is on the floor. That's mine now. A tin can? This can must have fallen. So off. I think I now have a tin can, a reed, and a box. Interesting. Uh, I could talk about the food on the table, which looks absolutely rancid. Could look at that thing on the wall. What else is there? I'm honestly quite, quite okay with that. And there's a bunch of pictures on the wall. That's intense. That is a very intense thing. Let's see if I can make it to fixing the train car. Let's see if I can do that. There's a loose board somewhere in the room. So I bet if I clean up my mess, I should clean that up. Before you even know, the world lies in ruin. Dude, I that was your fault. That was your fault. You definitely, definitely did that. Like, there's absolutely no way I can prove that, except from rewinding and realizing that he wasn't the one who touched it, but he definitely touched it. It was totally him. Oh yeah, walk on the glass, why don't you? Great example for kids. Now I have a mat. Uh, let's go to the floor, and then I'll check out underneath the bed. Nice. Oh. There really is a hidden stash below. Incredible that Hans didn't accidentally step on the gaping hole in the floor, and then like fallen and hurt himself what's in there Those hello junk and an almost empty bottle of schnapps what kind of schnapps i'll only take the schnapps bolts and shoes bolts and shoes i don't know what that means it sounds tasty what's under the is that a coat hanger coat hanger there's something lying on the floor coat hanger it's a massage rod uh somebody must have misplaced it a massage rod. <laughs> I wonder what I could use this thing for. <laughs> My goodness. I'm going to go back up to Gretchen and be like, well, Gretchen, I haven't figured out how to turn the car on. However, take a look what I got. <laughs> She'll be like, Hans, you creep. Go ahead. Touch the crime scene now. Mess up the crime scene. I guess not. Can I open up this door? Farther into the room, I see the stoop. Oh, Lolo. Can I have that? Just the hanger. Take the hanger. Well, now I got a hanger. How do I see my inventory again? I. I is the show inventory. Oh, I can see it. Oh, can I like... The number nine. I'm going to take a hot guess and say that that's how many things... Other things that I can record about. That's my guess. Um, can I use that? Oh, I can put the rod up there? Auto. Cover up these people's works of art. Yeah, why would I do that? That's a terrible idea. Beautiful work of art. Why would you do that? Um, okay. So, what else? The window? Can I touch the windows or anything else new here? Touch the window, buddy. Face through the carpet. Oh, I can go out the window. Oh, I can look out the window. Hey, another coat hanger. This is mine. Yep, that's my coat hanger now. I will take these bloomers. Is still the preferable way to dry your laundry. According to who? I like to use my dryer. Although it is rather energy intensive. I could probably be less energy intense. I could use this vibrating rod to get that pan off the roof. What do you do? Hey, Mr. What? Papa John's commercial. Papa John's pizza. Better pizza. Better Germany. Better ghost stories. John. It's just John. <laughs> and he happens to be a father. Okay, so now that I just vibrating rotted the television antenna, how, how about how about I go back? I, I must have messed up the television, so I'll go tell the child that it was my fault. I'll tell him I used my super secret antennas of doom to interrupt the waves of the television. Something stupid like that. Hi there, Truda. Please don't look at me like that. You're looking at me like that again, Truda. Look straight at the camera. 
Do me a favor and look straight at the... Nope, you're looking at me? It's because Hans is attractive. The fuck is this game? Uh, we're in Germany. Thank you very much. Uh, and they say, Das fuck in this game. Or something like that. I spoke German once upon a time. Um, lady. Young, young girl. What did I do? do you know what happens? I don't know what happens next. I'm gonna look at you again. Very focused. Very focused on the television. Can I break the television? I can use my vibrating rod on the television. Bzzz. Oh God! Don't take that out in front of the kids. Oh. Excuse me. Didn't mean to. Oh. Okay. The vibrating rod not only vibrates physically, it vibrates electromagnetically. I can interrupt the radio waves, which means I can take this chicken. Unidentifiable meat. Mm. Traditionally, hearty local meals. Traditionally hearty local meals. Like bugs. Indeed. And bananas? Are these pastries? Are there pastries? Captain's log Beverly. The food is shit. But it looks pretty. Yep. So I guess, did the number go down or? Okay, the number goes up. So the more that I make recordings about things, the higher that number of games. What is this game though? The game is called Truberbrook, and to my knowledge, it is a point and click adventure game. Somebody, it's something about like people dying in the mines or something like that. And I felt, I don't know. I got this game for free because of my Amazon Prime subscription. It's also available on Steam. I'll put both, like I, I'll put a link in the description of the VOD and whatnot. So that anybody out there can figure this stuff out. Nothing. Oh, there's nothing on the menu. I'm gonna starve today. <laughs> I will also become a ghost, just like the miners who died. In other news, what's in the periodicals? 998 years of Triberbrook. All that we wish for is a wonderful festivity for a wonderful place. That is our beloved Triberbrook by Mayor J. Beershock. Beautiful village of Triberbrook. First mentioned in the records of 1969. That we were all looking forward to excited about. One to the big 1,000. We feel that 988 years are equally birthday worth celebrating September 1st. That's important. Oh, okay. That's fine. Is there anything else important on there? New bus schedule. Creepy findings of the swamps. Alrighty then. Tuda, can I show you my vibrating rod? Is this yours, ma'am? <laughs> Thanks. For me? <laughs> I found it under the bed. And now you want to, um, let's say... Pawn this device in exchange for a fishing rod? Truly, I don't want to know what- I don't want to know what you're gonna do with this device. Yes, give me a fishing rod. You can- That sounds like a good deal. That sounds like a good deal. You will definitely get a lot more out of this vibrating rod that- uh. Truda, where are you putting that? And why is your head cocked like this? Oh my god. Wait, could I- Can I exchange the fishing rod now? <laughs> That's- what the hell? Truda, your daughter, if you were the mother, is sitting right across the room. I literally stuck this thing in front of a child and was like, watch how I can make your television go all shifty. And she was like, wow, that's so weird. Damn right, it's weird. Dude, you came at the exact right time, Oreo, and me popped in too. Oh my goodness. Clearly, the mystery gets deeper. Um, sir, can anything I have help you with your table? I'm gonna put a tablecloth on it. Thank you, but I believe this ordinary table is not deserving of your delicate tablecloth. What a well-spoken man. But what about this poker coin? It might be able to support a glass of beer, but not this table. Glass. Actually, it just needs one more mew. One more mew. My father used to say, the only thing more stable than a beer coaster was two beer coasters. That's, That's what my father used to say. Wow. Your father's been preparing you for this moment. It's all about the beer and this man's father. Okay, well, apparently I need to find another one of those thingamabobs. So, I'll try to find another one. I have many things in my inventory. I have multiple coat hangers. I'm sure I can do something with that. Let's just, I'm going to go back to the pier. Oh, wait, 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 can I put this on the... Can I do something with this? The tablecloth on the night. I will extinguish you. Yeah, you would also probably put a big old hole in your tablecloth because there's a giant smoldering sword up there. It was supposedly struck by lightning, although I didn't see it happen. Something mechanic? Can I do something? Can I do something? Can I get this bucket? Nah, I need three coat hangers for that. 
maybe I, I literally have no idea but there was a pier over on this side that side that side pointing at the screen so let's see if i can go fishing maybe i can get me a fish or maybe i can throw the fishing rod up and touch this cat cat oh i can use the can of it choose it's in the mood for that right now okay fine no food for you then Pfft, sucks can't open up the box i don't think nope pier go fishing on the pier Fishing on the pier. Oh, wait a minute. I can put the worms on my thing. Species reintroduction. Ooh. Although I can't return the tuna to the wild as long as it's in the can. Oh, there's tuna in the can. Yeah. Okay. It's a tuna can. There's tuna in the can. I only need some. I only need bait. Okay. So can I like? Subject. Okay. So I can't actually put bait on it. I need worms. Excuse me. Where to find more worms? I have these reed. Where the reed go? Maybe I can build something with it? I don't really know. Rude cat. It's a fox, I guess? There's probably foxes in Germany. That makes sense. No. 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 Can I use the things on the reeds? No. What about this treat? No. Boat? No. Okay. Run! Run, Hans! Run! Okay, well, I guess I'll find my way back up at the top of the mountain. I'll go back to the thing with Bob. Wait, touch? No. Touch cat? Touch cat with thing? No. Not in the mood for tuna. It's fine. I'm not really in the mood for tuna either, to, if I had to be perfectly honest there. <laughs> I think I found everything in the in the store. Can I go to the theater? I didn't actually I didn't consider that. More things to touch. No. No, 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 no. I'll go back up. I'll go back up to the mountain. Maybe I'll find some more stuff up there or maybe I could wait 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 wait. Wait. Hans, come back. Touch this man. No, okay. <laughs> I thought there might be more ways to interact with the man now that I've got multiple coat hangers and a, a stick and a fishing rod. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I haven't exactly found what you were trying to look for yet. Maybe. It seems you need a special key to get the thing running. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for it. Mind. Did you already ask around town? Maybe someone there has it. But I did that. Uh... Why are you going to be so mean to me, Gretchen? Oh, what a beautiful view. Let me talk to Beverly about it. The platform further uptown presents a wonderful view of the valley. Leaning on this rusty rail, nose to the wind... I can let my gaze wander freely to the other shore and across the mountains. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Hyperventilate. Just a little bit over this view. Yo, coat hangers! Two coat hangers! I'm sure this will take us up the mountain. Um, You're a funny man, Tenhauser. I like it. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what are you... Are you serious? Are you playing it on hanging from that? Dude. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a very good idea at all. Gretchen, what are your thoughts? Gretchen, do you have any thoughts on this? Hi. Hi. Hey. hey. Bye. Hi, oh, maybe I can use one of these things. Nope. Okay. Nothing new for the electrical signals. That's fine. What about this thing over here? I can use a stick. No, 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 Hans. That would be a really bad idea. I agree. That would have been a really terrible idea. <laughs> okay. What about... No. Okay, so I clicked everything up here. There's a high voltage sign. Can't do anything about that. Danger. High voltage. Yes. Danger. Danger. High voltage. There is an area down in town that I didn't figure out. I'll go down there. I just found out if you double click on things, I can enter instantly, which is very convenient. I did not realize that. I thought I had to walk through every single one of them. Hi, lady. Um, what about the keys? Morning. Morning. Uh, the establishment. I'd like to report. You know, I guess I should talk to you more about it. I was robbed. They hurt me. Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. It was a ghost, but I'm not going to tell you that. I'm a quantum physicist. I have a reputation to uphold. I will keep you informed. Thank you, thank you, Trulda. Appreciate that. Uh, this establishment, it's beautiful, just like you and your face and your hair and that vibrating rod that you currently have stashed behind the counter that now I want back. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother, but now it's just me and my little daughter. Oh, so you are the mother, and you decided to wave that vibrator around so, so willy-nilly. To be fair, her daughter is very much occupied with the television, so they probably didn't notice it. You can't handle the rod! You can't handle the rod! I just threw a rod against the wall. My fiance is nowhere near me. Trust me, no harm was done. How's the season go? Your daughter likes the television. Tell me about your brother. Is he dead? 
The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottle. Ah, so that bottle of schnapps I found upstairs was probably his. Well, that's what you get. The wall guard harm. Actually, yeah, there are a couple of green army men that sit upon one of my pictures in the corner, and I just knocked both of them down, so. You hurt my army men! Where are my babies? Put them back. Oh my god, you have to like mobile them. These are the lying ones, too. I made a boo boo. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I just collected a cardboard box that you used to stand on, or you can stand on top of my little box there. You, have to put them there you can see a piece of Anna's pants in the corner. How's the season going? The door over there hasn't been opened. The Let me in. in I'm in trouble. I'm clipping that. She sounds angry. She's not angry, right? Right? And if she is angry, I can fend I can fend for myself with this other wooden dowel. He just took the key with him. Who took the key? Wait, who took the key? Wait, wait, I was supposed to be paying attention to this. Your daughter. Tell me more about your daughter. She believes in- I'm gonna put up more green armor. Oh my goodness, she's putting up more green armor men in retaliation. Whatever shall I do? Put some on your unicorn thing? No, no, get out of here. No. Get out of here. Get out Oh, stop! <laughs> stop! I'm putting this on. What are you doing? Stop yeah. that. Wait a minute, actually this totally works. Look. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I don't have another place to put these guys. Oh, this is beautiful! Now I got a little army man on my- Who needs party hats when you have stuff like this to- To entertain. <laughs> That's great. I love that. I'm just gonna put like a thousand Being up. The oh, you have another one up here! Alright. How's the season going so far? No. Season? It's okay. Oh! Oh, my little dude fell- Wait, can I have another? <laughs> okay, you get a- you get a fireman. It's not gonna stay. Oh wait, let me get a lie down. <laughs> and while she's occupying herself with army men, ah, I have a gray one for you. There you go. Now he won't leave. It's wacky hair day here at the With an X household. No, where did oh, you? What color is that one? That one's gray. It's a gray one. I, I got little army dudes in my hair. I have different it's beautiful. color greens. Hey, I have red wait, ones and then hey, I have green ones. Wait. Hold on a second. I'm an alien. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, I, my army man fell again. Oh How my did goodness! You do that? I don't know. Things keep falling out of my air. Stop Oreo stop. says to wait and watch. Watch this. Oh my goodness! Oh, wait, 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 I need to like. Put this... <laughs> Anna, did you watch the thing? What am I watching? You just watch, watch the clip. Oh, there God. be the clip. Now, where did my red? Where did my? Lamau, I'm putting it on the big screen. Wait, I have to go. I have to switch my. Where is? I have my... to switch my modes. Where did my wait, baby go? Wait. Wait, if I go back to the this screen, do I have the- No, I don't. Oh, there he is. Ah! Ah! Okay, you can have two guys. Okay, we're back. We're back here again. This is the audio. I, I'd have to switch scenes, but here's the audio of myself in the background. I can't hear it. Oh, she can't hear it. Hear it. Oh, I'm so sorry! You oh. lost my army! <laughs> I lost the army and I just whacked Where'd Anna. Where'd he go? I whacked Anna in the face with my headphones. <laughs> Cameron, what shut up in the you? background. <laughs> You're making an absolute mess of my life over here. I need to stick more in your head. Anna, there is a story to unfold over here. And you Dallas don't to be in had. your story. I'm sticking army men in your head. Okie dokie. Well, I feel ready for a beat. <laughs> <laughs> Even Hans is totally up with my bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god, you have beer behind the counter? We have what? No, we don't. Go. Cheers. She just poured me a beer from behind the counter, I think. But most importantly, I have this coaster now, so I actually need to talk to people. Oh my god. <laughs> Dom- Dominic's hair is so flat and straight, it would not be able to do that. I got way too many curls for my own- for my own benefit here. Always forget how cute we look when we're both trying to be derpy. <laughs> I'm not trying! <laughs> exactly. It just, just kind of happens. putting things up. Oh my god, this one lost his gun! God, unfortunately, there would be so much more things that I would love to be able to have showcased and recorded and live out there for literally everybody to see about the subtle nuances Where and occurrences of my relationship. Okay, However, a lot of that shit is very inappropriate and very, very personal. What the but I'm always open discussing? to talking about it. Literally. Okay. Literally everything. That's what I'm discussing. This guy also, is like scissoring your fan. It might be able to support a of beer. I used to want to my fan. Actually, it just needs one more minute. Well, he has open legs, so it works. My father used to say, the only thing more stable I don't think I have many with open legs. Was two beer coasters. Wait, I just... I think I finally understand what he meant. But I just so. put two beer coasters there! It's done now! I thought I had... be able to support a glass of beer. Shit. But not this table. Wait, but I had two. It just needs one more mew. 
Okay, I should really watch brush my teeth now. Wait, but I okay. I already had two coasters. That was the second one. I'm not doing this well. Wait, don't I have two of these things in my inventory? What two happened to the first one? Oh no! Oh my god. I'll let you keep it personal. Honestly, I'm more than happy to answer any question. I'm trying to think of things that I wouldn't be able to share, but there's really nothing that I can think of right now. Don't move back. Oh, I'm not gonna move back. Otherwise, I will literally run over her face. <laughs> my Disney frame is crooked. What Disney frame? Oh, that's because I'm messing with it. That's because she's messing with it. I'm trying to put guys up. Okay, where is this other beer coaster at? There we go, there we go. I, I know I had another one. Are they even on screen? Okay, good. I oh, know guys, I had right? another one. The most popular. What the hell? Ah, re. I need a red Thank one. You. Yes, I understand, sir. I know I had another beer coaster. There we what go. did I do with it? Now you have more. Thank you for decorating, d d dearest Disney. I almost called you Disney, which is, I guess, surprisingly accurate. I still got an army dude in my hair. You have three. I have, th <laughs> I have three in my hair. This is great. You have one fireman and oh, two army men. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. They're from competing factions. Competing oh, factions? My goodness, there's literally a war happening on my scalp. <laughs> it's, a it's a surprise tool that'll help us later. <laughs> The Dowl of Doom. Dowl? Dowl of Doom. Dowl of Doom. Watch yourself. Dowl of Doom. Oh, there's a glass of beer. Doom. Oh, I. Holy shit, dude. You also knocked down. Stop the throwing water. these dowels everywhere. Oh, no, Who is this? Watch out. This is Raya. You poor Raya fell. Raya is the last dragon. Yo, did I just chug a beer? I don't know. Yo, quick, Anna, grab me a beer to chug. Do we have beer? There's no beer in this house, unfortunately. Just liquor bottles. <laughs> Quick, Anna, grab me a liquor bottle. You'll get trash. Kidding. Kidding. I'm gonna get you one of mine because they're tiny, but- Or am I? Actually, I was practicing speed pouring today, so the only liquor bottle that I have within arm's reach is- a, it's it's empty. Actually, it's not even within arm's reach, to be perfectly honest. It's way over there on the counter. Anyway, do I have my other beer coaster now? Can I have my beer coaster back, dude? You can't. Dude, can I get another beer? You have not been good enough. Morning. Morning, Miss. Uh, have you talked to police yet? To the police yet? Tell me more. But the police. The officer an outline of the crime. There was no officer. It's only going to be a matter of hours before someone will attend to the issue. Only no, hours. That's okay. A matter of hours. The police station is right next town, but as you know, that's quite the distance. I've been told it's at least a thousand miles. Patient. Patience. As my soon friend. as the inspector has solved this current case. You will start working on your straight away. Thank you, Truba. Appreciate that. If there are any new Truber, wait, I just grew, grew that cable car. Tell me about the cable car. BRB, partner called. That's okay, Oreo. Sometimes my partner calls me too. Anna? What? I was the partner in this case. I called upon her. Thanks for telling me, Gruda. Gruda. Okay, well, now I got that then. But I thought there was a... I hope I didn't just miss something. Because I thought I had... Oh, there's the coaster. It fell on the ground. Right? Is that the coaster? There we go. There we go. Now I can go outside. Now I have the two coasters. Now I can fix the wonky table and hear about this dude with the spear hat to tell me more things. Oh, an army man fell out of my head. Bye, dude. Now I can fix your table! The table stopped wobbling? What's this? A non-wobbling table? So very, much. so very welcome, sir. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Well, to be perfectly honest, sometimes I get really distracted by silly things too, like this straight curl in my hair, which I just realized I have a brush at my desk to tend to. It's Anna's brush, apparently, but man, look at how awesome I look now. Look at me and my squirrely pompadour. <laughs> sir, tell me more about your life. Did you fight in a war? Excuse me, sir. Sir! You got yourself a nice spot here, my dude. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that was a long name. I'm coming over. Sir, I assure you, you do not sound as broken as you may think you are. However, only you know what's going on up in here. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Truebrook. I wonder if you were the dude who owns the mines. Wow, look at that. I was right. Wow, now who owns them? Are we trespassing? We might be trespassing. 
Got any? Fr what kind of strange? What kind of a strange what place is this, dude? Place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashions. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you have friends or family? Any friends or family? My spouse left me for good. And my beloved Trooper Brook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, now even he has disappeared. Who's Claus? Tell me more about Claus. Claus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. Oh, it's not a fox. It's actually a cat. Always remain by my side. Well, now. No, dude, I definitely found your cat, or what I thought was a fox, but now I realize is actually a cat. Uh, was Klaus abducted, or is he roaming around town? Because it seems like it's roaming around town. Anna says he was abducted. Anna was the one to abduct him. Anna hates cats. She killed him. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's... Just awful. Well, Bon Varen Salzburg, you seem very broken. Are you from around these parts, sir? Well, I mean, you did say you own the place, right? Your last name is Trooper Brook. Oh, you already said this. Yeah, you, you said this already. All right, nice. Do you still have the key to the old cable car? That'd be pretty cool. Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. Okay, so to mourn for Klaus. So if I get you your cat Klaus. You'll give me the key. Okay, I need to get Klaus. All right, so now, now that I know that Otto von Salts, whatever, per whatever guy, words, can't figure it out. Can I put the tablecloth on the table now, actually? Because that seems appropriate. Oh, what if I put the tuna on the table? I set the table for Klaus to come back. Thank you. Whatever All right, fine. <laughs> then the ordinary table will not receive the tablecloth because you, for some reason, don't want it. I respect your decision. However, I can't lie. I am disappointed. Oh, I just clicked outside of the screen again. Pfft, I keep doing this. <laughs> I love that I can, like, face through invisible objects and such. Hilarious. All right. Cl oh, Klaus is now on a tree. Hi, Klaus. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Would you like... <laughs> Would you like a stick? Booze? Or an accounting of my life story? We'll go with the life story as Anna makes my hair look all pretty pretty again. What are you doing? Are you putting more army men up there? Yeah, I found more. Nice. This one a bit looks like we're going to have to stick it through the back. Beverly, I've spotted a gigantic red tabby in a tree. Beverly, this just in. There is an animal staring at me. This may be my last star log. I'll just try to lure the cat down with a mating call. Oh my god, what did you just say? I'm going to lure the cat down with a mating call. Um... <laughs> Come down. I miss your soft body, Klaus. No reaction. No reaction. Guess I should use tuna instead. That's a cat? That, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. It doesn't look like a cat. Here, fish. Want some <laughs> want some booze? Cunning. If only I had some kind of projectile. Wait, I could use the reed and shoot something up there. Hey, Klaus! If only I had some kind of projectile. Yes, I need a projectile. And that's how you kill it. Anna Domstar asks, have you ever straightened Cam's hair? No, she hasn't. won't let me. I will not let her. My curls are just too perfect. The last time my hair was straightened was when it was four to five times longer than it is now, many years ago. And it was very, very crazy. Oh my God, I need a projectile. Where can I get a projectile? I must yeah. find a projectile. Interact, interact, interact. Lights, what else can I interact with? Uh, I can't use the tuna. Yeah, I can't use this. I need bait. Do it for the vine! Do it for the vine! Honestly, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we'll have a stream where we just play around with my hair. That could be fun. I have a, I have a co-worker of mine who does so many awesome things with his hair. I could learn a thing or two, to be honest. Anna's running around. What? She's concerning me. I don't know. I need my stuff, my... 
crochet. Okay, stuff. okay. Wait, can you bring me my embroidery thing? You mean my? Yeah, I want to show it off. You, you can show it off. Oh, did that work? Oh, I put the they tablecloth just in there. Follow you on the yeah. cosplay account. No, yeah, yeah. I want to show off my embroidery. I started embroidering. We're doing it for cosplays. If you've ever watched Oron High School Host Club, I'm embroidering the crest from the show. We're gonna put it on the vo uh, we're gonna put it on the jackets. It looks really cool. It's taken. This has literally taken me hours, like days, to do. This takes a long time, but damn, it looks really freaking good. If I do say so myself, of course. If anybody's interested in that cosplay stuff, there's also a cosplay Instagram that we have, Anna and I, that we post stuff on and whatnot, stories in progress and things like that. We're actually going to a convention last week, uh, Nick, this weekend. I don't know what we're doing there though. The details are ambiguous to me. Okay. So I can't get Klaus out from the tree over here, but I know that I need to find a projectile. So maybe, I what if I talk to the kid? Kids, kids like projectiles, right? It'll be a great time. Just go and have fun. Oh, we'll have a great time. I think that's a, that's a Sunday. That's what we're doing on Sunday. On Sunday, we'll be going to the convention. We're going to CloverCon in Somerset, New Jersey. If anybody is in the area, say hello. If I recognize you, I'll say hello as well. But technically, I don't know anyone's faces here. Although, actually, I know quite a few people's faces here. I'm on a personal level with many of my viewers. We all get to know each other. It's great. Hi, Truda. You were looking at me very... Are you using Are you using the rod that I found? I don't want to know. Please don't tell me. I'm going to talk to your daughter. Hey, daughter. You know any projectiles? Tell me about projectiles, you know? Projectiles. No, stop. Talk to the... Talk to the girl. You know mine. I know Dom's face. He and I <laughs> Snapchat. Oh my god, how, how long has our Snap streak been? This is awesome. I love to have Snap streaks with people. I didn't realize how addicted I was to this whole thing. It's great. I have I have a 162-day Snap streak with Dom. It's great. It's awesome. My longest streak is 1,002 days. I never thought of myself much of a snapper, but I am. I've got the little diamond insignia, that little diamond ghost that shows that I'm really good at it, apparently. I didn't investigate this clock yet. There's something funny about that clock. It doesn't look like it's working. Touch it. Hmm. There is something funny about the clock. What about this thing on the wall? I guess I have to look at everything on the wall now. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Very interesting. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. How poetic. Very interesting. Very, very nice. I can't do anything with these, right? I could talk about it. I don't want to. Maybe I'll touch it. I don't think I've touched it yet. That's like almost half, 150, yeah, it's like half a year. I am like, I am very diligent about my snaps. The, I think the last time that I broke, um, I broke my snap streaks with everybody. Oh, look, a skewer, hey, excellent. Um, the last time I broke a snap streak was um, when I went to a, a, a concert. I went to a concert th venue and there really wasn't a lot of internet. And wow, I found a worm in the food, excellent. Well, that's cool. Um, but yeah, and uh, I let my buddy of my I let a buddy of mine use my phone so that he could keep his snap streaks, but he didn't log out, so I never got my notifications to continue my streaks, and I lost all of them in a single day. It was so sad. But that must have been at least almost like three years ago now, because I still have that thousand day streak with the one friend of mine, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. I'm Dom's longest streak right now. Oh, I'm so honored. This is a this is this is a great honor for me. It's just the uh, the person that I had the longest streak with is one of the friends one of the friends that I made when I went to Europe many many years ago. We always try to keep in contact. It's a beautiful thing to keep in contact with people. All right. Oh, I'm gonna use all these together. I'm gonna use alcohol, a skewer, and a reed to make you drunk. Is that what's gonna happen? I'm gonna shoot you out of the tree. Man, this dude is quite the MacGyver. Putting all these things together, making it work. All right, buddy. Here we go. Oh yeah! Wow! Oh my god! Oh, nice, nice. Okay. That was funny. I stabbed you with a little barb that I found. You fell out of the tree, onto the boat, onto the, the blanket, and then off here. Well, now I have Klaus. Come here, buddy. Yeah, go back to your owner. Huh? Wait, wait, wait! I have to fish. I must fish. <laughs> we're going fishing. That's what we're doing. We're going fishing. Maybe I'll find a key in the water. Good catch. That's the thing about fishing here in Germany. All the fish are German. Because they're from Germany. That's the thing about German waters, you see? 
There's a bunch of U-boats and whatnot. Maybe I'll catch me a nice big one. There's something biting on my line. What is it? What could it possibly be? It is... A stick. Or a gun. Maybe it's a gun. Did I catch a gun? Oh, that'd be so cool. It's a good thing I was paying attention. What the? What the? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, buddy. Can opener. A can opener. Can I open up the rest of my tuna can? Tuna can? Subject. Speech. Yeah, I can't do that. I pick up my fishing rod again. Sounds like a lot of hoopla. Plenty of hoopla. Plenty of hoopla around here for everybody. If you want to hoop yourself into the lake, I guess. And I have my fishing rod back. Um, I can't do anything else with this, it seems. Let's see, a can opener? Oh, yo, 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 I bet I can break open these boxes with a can opener, right? Oh, for sure. That must be it. Wait a hot second. All right. I can open this box with a can opener, can I? I can't? Seriously? Man, you have too much respect for your surroundings, dear Hans. This could have been so much easier. Come on, come on, click it. I want to hear you say it. Locked. All right, well, I'm going to go talk to the old man. Or try to see... Okay, yeah, go back to your buddy. Can't do that yet. Can't go to the bench. I'm going to talk to Klaus. I'll use the tuna cans, I guess. You like this, don't you? You want some tuna? You want a little bit of fish? Uh, come over here, little guy. I got some good fish for you. Come over here. Psst, 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 psst. Come here. Okay, get the tuna. Yeah. I know you're lacking the food. You're lacking the food so good. You're going to go back to the owner now? Nice and happy? Nummies. Nummy, nummy, tasty. Good kitty. Fox. Thing. Tomcat. Tomcat. Tomcat, Bobcat? It's a thing in Germany, I'm guessing. Well, you seem to be happy. Do I just sit here watching? Oh, and I trap him in a box! There we go. Box time. Wow, I can't believe I kept that in my pocket. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, kill him! Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was funny. That worked, I guess. Oh, kill him! Oh, did I do it? Oh. <laughs> I thought I could still hear the sound of class munching on something. Oh my god, I can use a can opener on the night? Why would I do that? I'm defacing public property. It must be done. Now it's a case for the metal restorer. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me I couldn't have thrown literally anything else at this thing? <laughs> Beverly, I'm a wanted man. I just destroyed a public monument. An old set of armor in a fit of passion. A professionally disassociated <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I have something wrong with me, says Hans. Somebody help me. What could be in the pile? Did I find something? Oh, cutscene time? Everything goes black. Oh! Oh, I understand! Wait, okay, hold up a second. If I go up here, I can use the suit of armor to jumpstart things. Oh, hi there, buddy. Hi, kitty. Meow? Meow? meow. Ah. Go home, meowser. Okay, I guess not. I can touch this now, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, make it work. Bzzz. I'm very glad I have a working knowledge of electronics. But it... I'll just leave it like that. Uh... <laughs> wow, I'm such a public disturbance in this small German town. God forbid I go back to Germany again. I don't know who's gonna be at. Uh, I don't know who's gonna be wanting for anything. Buddy, did you see that your cat came back? Did you see that? Did you notice? Did you see? Excuse me, sir. Ah! Klaus. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Nothing? Please oh. excuse me. Alrighty then. Well, I was pretty sure that you had something going on here. Oh, there's a current again, so that's cool. I got things rolling. Uh, Klaus, you wanna go home? To run from here, kitty. Can't go nowhere. I got you. Oh! oh I think he passed out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Am I gonna pick up Klaus and put him in my inventory? Now I've got you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I put the cat in my inventory. <laughs> this feral being. Well, that's funny. I used the power of the electric current to do things. Wait, okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna put the dog on the... Oh no, not again. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god, that's really funny. 
I love the little flavor text of I'm not gonna put the the cat in the current again. All right, I can put class on the table. Give give cat. Here's your cat, dude. I'm returning your cat back to you. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? <laughs> oh. No, I that's love my love dog, Hans Zimmerman. <laughs> you look exhausted, old friend. Oh, nice. That's cute. Well, good. Not gonna talk to you about other things. Bet you got the key on you, right? Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me about the keeper car on the tap? Did you tell me something about the cable car in this town? You have the key? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about well, it. I mean, it's always kind of around. You'd be at a loss if you didn't speak about it. Uh, what, what's with the cable car? Seriously, dude. What's up with it? The cable car. Yes, I know. In you fact, you did tell me. Uh, the whole mine. Uh, we've been through this already, everything sir. Was taken away from me. I can understand but why you would be very angry with that. Everything. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like it would piss me off too. Mine. The, the whole village. village. You ran the mining bit. Please go on. Please tell me more. More and more outsiders came to town. The more that you run your mine. mouth. The better no chance I have at getting what I want. So please, profits, tell me your life story. Place, I'll have I'll record it all for my buddy Beverly to listen to. Just think of it. This was my life. Oh, it seems one of my army men is trying to climb out of my hair again. But he's sticking around. That's pretty good. Nice little dude. Oh, ghost town. You are these maniacs. Who are the maniacs? Tell me more about the maniacs. You're referring to. The Millennium Cooperative. <gasps> That's the evil business. Millennium Cooperative or something like that. Trying to look for the Millennium Puzzle. This dude named Yu-Gi-Oh. Must be foreign. Wow. That's so sad. You ran the mining business? Tell me what they mean by you mean they destroyed everything. It's all gone. Oh. Tubious eggheads. Dude, you got a problem with foreigners or something like that? Technically, I'm... Well, I guess I'm from Berlin. Which, I don't know. You ran a mining business? You ran a mining you business. Ran a mining business. Well, Yugi, there is no O. I am the Baron Where's my Yugi boy? <laughs> Where's these Yugi boys? There was a man named Yugi. He was the corporation CEO of the Millennium Corporation. Said something about an Egyptian god in his head or something like that. Must be foreign. Well known beyond the borders of this country. Um, yeah, it seems that he's from Egypt, actually. Would you ra- Uh, this must have been really difficult this times. Difficult for because of that, I would like to relieve I you of those pains. Please, concern. give me the key to the cable car. Would you mind lending me the key to the cable car? Seriously, I'll, I'll take you it off your mind. The key to the old cable car? That'd be cool, right? So kind to me today. I know I have, have been. United an old man with his loyal cat. Or maybe it's a dog, we're really unsure at this point, but it's very fluffy. My heritage, my stocks. My startups. You had startups? And all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. I want to go to the mines. I'll take this. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Gonna go up here now and make things work. Dom's been an American since around the 1800s. I've been an American since around... Whatever time. The 1900s. Yugi boy. The Pharaoh. It's kind of interesting. Basically, all your families moved here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't have any... I don't think I have... I think I'm like third or fourth generation Italian. I think my it was my great-grandfather. It might have been my great-great-grandfather moved from Italy. Fun little fact. Family history there. Well, now that I got the key, I can get this thing open again. Good job. Okay, the car is cool. But there must be more. And those coat hangers aren't moving. But there, there were these boxes around town. I never got to open the boxes. Oh. Uh, oh my god, we're actually using the coat hangers. Oh my god, that's not smart, dude. That's not smart. Oh my god, this man just died. He must have died. Chapter 2. Oh, okay. Paradiso. That was exciting. Dom's actually got a gra got grandparents that fought in the Civil War on the Union side. That's so cool. I have a, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, his his family is like supposedly related all the way down to the people who came in on the Mayflower, supposedly. All right. Hello. Hello. Anybody here? Anybody here? Anybody here? Well, you know what? This is going very well so far. I'm very much enjoying this, so I think I'm going to continue. 
I'm gonna continue with this Truberbrook thing going on here. Fascinating. I seem to be in the dark of the... Okay. Fever dream. Next circumference, 39 seconds. <laughs> I knew he was dying. Did I break an arm or something? I must have broken an arm. Generally neglected, yet overall stable condition. I like your accent, sir. Can you talk to me more about my body? Patient somnolent. Som somnolent? Wait, I don't know what somnolent is. Display. Um... Skin pigmentation what does salmonellant mean? Nutritional base I didn't say that right. Nope, I <laughs> just asked Google what salmonella is. That's not right. And then it said you'll take six to eight hours to complete. Oh my. Oh, this is a longer game. This could become a playthrough game too. I got a couple of indie games that I found that I want to keep playing. Oh, you're still talking. Okay, I'm waking up now. And apparently, Dom's family lines just live extremely long lives, too. No one has died under 70 that didn't have an outside cause like murder or drug overdose. Hmm. Does that imply that drug and or murder is in your future? Because that'd be interesting. I wonder who's going to murder you. You know, they say most murders and homicides happen with people that you know. Personal friends. Weak. You know, if that's of any concern to you, at least. Okay, um, so I can't... Poking myself does nothing. What else can I touch? Do I just keep poking myself? That's the only thing I can do. Huh? Oh, I'm waking up. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm waking up now. Unclear. I wouldn't know either. Honestly, no idea on Dom's part. Wouldn't be surprised if the murder thing did. The murder part, not the drug part. Not actually doing drugs. I'm not, I'm not doing actual drugs. Not the actual drugs. Just the fake drugs. The small drugs. Like caffeine. Caffeine's a drug. Sugar is technically a drug, I guess. I do sugar in caffeine. I, I had the I did a lot of caffeine today. I had a shot of espresso. I had a full cup of coffee I had multiple cups of teas and it still didn't do it for me. I think there may be something wrong with me That's legal drugs. Them's the legal drugs, dude If you're gonna do any drugs do the legal ones like marijuana in some jurisdictions Exactly. I am dizzy. I'm bobbin. Are you my mother? No Ouch. Let's just say I'm bobbin Who are you? <laughs> uh my name is Hans. My name is Hans. I fell off a mountain. I fell. I passed out. I was about to ask the same question. Yeah, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Assuming you knew, where have you been born or assembled? 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 I'm a robot. Have you ever had a deja vu? I think I've had one with you. Stop it. Only that I don't understand this question either. Only that I don't even understand this question either. See, that's that's comedy right there. <laughs> Dom's like exactly about the drugs and the marijuanas and the small ones. Take pot and shrooms any day of the week, but meth or crack is not a touch in it. I am the kind of person who will try anything at least once, so long as it fits is something like that would have to be in a very safe environment. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't been in the safest of environments to be able to do stuff like that recently. That stuff doesn't happen at my apartment. It shouldn't happen at my apartment. Because then I don't know if I I don't know how well things would be. No drugs here. Anna doesn't like the smell of weed, so there's none of that naturally. No cigarettes, none of that stuff. Not a fan of smoke. Do those aid safe? I agree. They're not safe. Not safe at all. But, you know, this is only one life that we have to live, and we'll see what happens. I'm also not the addictive type either, which is it's a, it's a bit of a blessing for me. I have never been the addictive type of person. Although, I am having a strange adherence to caffeine recently. It's not that I'm addicted. I just like the taste of coffee and espresso and all the things that are caffeinated. What else is in this room? There's blood on the floor. That's probably mine. Seem to take hygiene too seriously around here. Yeah, that could have like bloodborne pathogens. What if somebody died here? That could be terrible. <laughs> if Dom's on his deathbed, that would be a time where he would indulge in such crazy, crazy experiences like hard drugs. But he ain't dying yet, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. That's more than we can say about some people in this world. Although, their situations are probably a little bit different. That's less than we can say about Hans, because I'm pretty sure Hans is actually in purgatory now, because I fell from a very large height? That was a big distance that I fell from. That's really, really unfortunate. All right, what's in here? Can I take a shower? Hans, disrobe yourself. Disrobe. Take a shower. Yeah, take a shower. 
Oh, no the... water pressure. Oh. Well, how are you supposed to take a shower if you can't have any running water? Hans, I'm just saying, you can still take your shirt out if you want to. I don't think you will. There's something written on the wall. Is there? Is, is there something written on the wall? It's hard to decipher in the darkness. Oh, I should turn the light on. Turn this thing on? Is it not working? Oh! A coin. It fell right out of Somebody the put a coin in the shower head. Very interesting. Into my inventory for some cosmic reason. The benefits of capitalism. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's self-aware too. Dom's like, his dad's a lot. His, his mom's dad is alive and kicking at 94. You think her mom is 87. Then you've got some time to live. I'm always working under the assumption that the average human life expectancy is somewhere in the 80s range. So I've been telling myself for the upper portion of my, for the lower portion of my life that I've got a couple of hundred, I've got a couple of decades left. And I'm going to work off of that. Unless something crazy happens in between. And look at that, there is now a skeleton in my bed. But at least there's no skeletons in my closet. That's a good thing. What does this button do? Where the heck am I? I am in a hospital. Can I get out? I can use this coin to jam the door. It doesn't have a coin slot. Naturally, that would make sense. Can I go outside? Let me out of here! I'm sick in the head! Oh. Are you ready for further tests? Uh, yes. Let me go. First, the tests. Okay. Um, I'm ready. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Forget it. Forget it. Uh, but I'll just pee in the drain. There's probably a drain over here. Disney Queen, Quasni Quan, says I have to live until I'm 121, which is an unrealistic expectation of me, but my goodness, I am certainly going to try. Well, I guess technically, based off of my previous statements, I'm not really trying. I'm I intend to live to the year of 121. However, with the certain activities that I've engaged in my life such far, I may not be preparing myself for that thing, but, you know, I only live once. I gotta experience things while I'm still here. Okay, let's use this ladder to get up into the grates, and then I'm gonna chuck a coin out there. Eat good foods and exercise, which I do. I bike to work almost every day, and I eat food often. Good food. Tasty food. Exactly. Exactly. Fried. I forgot. It's just fried food. Can I get up there? What's up there? Do do de, do do. I, my feet don't even. I need a very special tool to unscrew those very small screws. A very special tool. And the dude with what are you doing creeping on me like that, bro? It's freaking weird. Okay, so now I need a tiny tool. All right. Well, what else is there? Are there other other corners of the room? No. Can I use the coin to... Can I use the coin to scrape off the floor? No. They don't seem to rather... No. Can't use a coin there. Can't use a coin there. Coin over here? No. Coin over here? No. Coin back here? Coin! I'll give you money if you let me out! Have a coin oh, just kidding. I already tried that. Alright, I guess I'll keep talking to this dude. Buddy! Let me out! Let me go first. The tests. I'm ready. I'm ready to be a part of your tests. Test me, dude. All right. Okay. Well, I have my coin now. It's good. Morel smoothie sure made me dizzy. Slumber morel? Like a mushroom? Vilcoman, welcome. No, you're welcome. I love your bushy, bushy eyebrows. They're very cute in a way. Could you adjust the contrast settings? What'd you say? Yeah, adjust it. Could you adjust the contrast settings? I want the key on the wall. He's going to flip Click the switch on me if I make even the slightest move. Hmm. All right. Well, what's now up, dude? Going already. Yeah, let's do the test. So. Time for the test. Dom's like, if Dom's alive at 120, you could be higher than a kite every single day, dude. I can only imagine how much joint pain I'll be in. Hopefully, by that point, I'll be just able to just be perpetually on cloud nine, or like in a coma, I guess. In which case, I guess I'll be in eternal bliss in a kind of nihilistic way. This is a mesh of dots and lines. I'm going to be very frank here. Anna's staring at me again. She's like, you're going to live till you're 121. Ever heard of social anxiety? I'll do, I'll eat my mints to make me older. Second image. <clears throat> my poor babies are falling out of your hair. My babies are not falling out of my hair. They're doing just fine. They're doing great. These are cookies, molehills, and daddy issues. <laughs> cookies, molehills, and daddy issues. What if I made up Hans, you said that so nonchalantly. Cookies, molehills, so. and daddy issues. Please. 
I'm trying to focus here, dude, but all I can think about is how my father beat me! <laughs> it's a butterfly. Beautiful butterfly. Yeah, yeah, my beautiful butterfly, beautiful just like my father! Butterfly. Good night, my dearest. Have you ever been bitten by a butterfly? I've never been bitten by a butterfly. We are done with that. No more tests from here. That's it, buddy. There's no more for the silly games, my friend. You'll run out of excuses sooner or later. Dude, I literally fell from a ski lift. What do you want me to do? Yeah, I'm a quantum physicist. It's up to you to take that first step into the right direction. Do you have a mustache in your mouth? For the time being. You look like you have a mustache in your mouth. So wacky looking. Now we only need to get a few things set up. Okay. Then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about. What proceedings? I fell off a cliff, dude. If you're ready. I think I'm ready. I think I'm sobering up again finally. Okay. Does that What a trip. <laughs> what a trip. I love it when this dude stares straight at the camera. That's my favorite. Can you read what's on the wall now? It's hard to just... Nope. I needed a special tool up there. I The water pressure probably still isn't working. No, it's working. Oh, now it is working. Just kidding. Okay. Well, I guess I'm taking a shower then. Can I read the thing now? Nope. Can I turn it off? Did he try turning the water off and on again? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Did that make it any easier to read? It's hard to decipher. Nope. What if I use the water on the blood now that I have water, right? I can clean the floor. Or water over there. Water over there. No. Water here. Touch the cables. Electrocute self. Make progress. Do something. Touch button. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. I still can't use the dime there. Was there anything else I could find up there? I don't think I tried it. And then the dude's gonna be like, What are you doing? What are you doing? Interesting. Well, I still don't have access to the very special tool. Unless it's in there. Which I think it was locked, right? Can't do anything with that. It's locked tight. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'm ready for more tests, I suppose, unless this thing is working now. No, no, no! I don't know. Alright. More tests, then, please. Come on out. Are you ready for further tests? Yes, give me more tests. Let me go. I wanna go. The tests. The tests first. I'm ready. I don't want to. I refuse. I, refuse to take part in I don't wanna do it. As you wish. After all, I can force you, or oh, can I? Can you? Yeah, I think you had full intent on attempting to force me by giving me no choice. But I have no choice. I'm okay with that. Let me go. Let me go. Get me out of here. All right, testy time. I'm ready. I'm ready. More tests? This seems so confusing. Maybe That's do I have to test the things correctly? Okay. Well, now I'm up in a bed. No, no, wait. Could you adjust the? Oh, okay. Um, was there anything else to click in the room? He's going to flip. Okay. Could these be the keys to the main. I know exactly what you are up to. Forget it. Do you really though? Do you really now? Just know? get going already. Okay. Let's start with a short, short evaluation, evaluation of my associated capabilities. Association so form. If you will. We are going to show you a series of images. Interesting. And you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okie dokie. Are we doing this whole thing again? All right. There. It's the universe. The universe. But it could also be a cup of latte. latte from nice. Dom's like, hey, gotta get headed, but wish you luck on the rest of the thing. Thank you very much, sir. Very much appreciated. And I hope the rest of your evening is fine, wonderful, dandy, and all full of wonder and surprises. And if it isn't, then that's okay. It's just another day in the life. I think this one is. All of this is totally obsolete. Of none of this obsolete, works. Right? None of this whole mind game stuff. So. Now focus, please. I'm trying to focus. Image three. Okay. Uh, are we done soon? Are we done soon? Yeah, this is annoying. You know, this isn't really optional. I I did it. I'm not a hundred percent convinced yet. 
Maybe you had us fooled all along. Let's keep you here for the time being. Okay, so I'm staying in here? No, wait, wait, wait. I don't get it. Now we only need to get a few things set up. Then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about to commence. Am I missing something here? The door when you feel ready. I'm ready for the proceedings. I think I'm sobering up again finally. I think I'm ready for the proceedings. What a trip. Yes, what a trip indeed. What the heck is that? Okay. Okay. Looking at the thing on the wall while the water is running? Did I try that? That's what I was saying. Okay. Well, that's all gobbledygooled. That doesn't work over here. Touching the door. I tried the coin already. Do I just keep going for the tests? That doesn't seem right. Tests? Is there something I haven't said to this man yet? Uh, let me go. Let me go. The test? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Later, then. Well, I guess I'll keep taking the tests, I suppose? Maybe if I just answer them okay. I just answer them normally. If I answer normally, then maybe that'll be okay. All right, back to back to this whole That's ink blocks test again. Sure Rorschach sure. tests. He's making me dizzy. I see this other thing in the corner room. There's nothing else I can click on. Doesn't really help me here. All right, dude. Bring it on. Bring it on, dude. First, it's it's the universe. The universe, but it could. Yes, I knew it. A spaceship. A space. The Andromeda. Oh, no, it isn't. Just as expected. As expected. Okay, I guess I just have to expect, uh, just say what you ex expected. And an angel, an I guess. Angel. Or maybe Valkyries? You Germans like Valkyries, don't you? I love Valkyries. Remarkable. Okay, so did I answer correctly? Done. Thank you. Uh, I'm not what? percent convinced yet. Maybe you had us fooled all along. Let's keep you here for the time being. Now we only need to get I'm confused. Set up. Then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about. What am I missing here? Knock on the door when Where's the piece ready? of the puzzle that I may be missing here? I think I'm sobering up again finally. What a trick. I understand it's quite the trick. Okay, I have a coin on me. What to do with the coin? I have the coin, the fishing rod, and a pass? Is that a train pass? And more of my recordings. But there's nothing else I can click on, I don't think. Alright, let me... Let me I guess I look at the wires. The lid is hanging off its hinges. If I click on that thing, nothing happens. I can't use my coin up there. I don't think, right? Can I? I don't think the coin did anything. Oh, what the heck? Apparently the coin does work in this case. That's insane. All right, well, that's good then. Sounds good. Can I go up there now? I'm going up there now. Use the ladder. Get up there. Yeah, there we go. I'm escaping. I'm out of here. I'm not answering your dummy tests anymore. Sanatorium Paradiso. Oh, I'm in a sanatorium. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's where I am now. Um, sanatorium Paradiso. Sanatorium Paradiso. Nice. What a strange place. They think I'm loony. Probably because I am. If I go in here, will they find me? That seems to be the door back to the area I was at before. Oh. Excuse me. Very nice in here. Very pretty. Books, nice. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things in here. A lot of... A lot of different books. I bet they're all real books, too. Makes sense. Makes sense. Why would you make up a bunch of books? I don't know. Nice. Very cool. What's on this wall? Maybe they're trying to discover aliens. I'm the alien. For a quantum discriminator. Never heard of it. Oh, yo. I am a quantum physicist, for what it's worth. Yeah. You don't know what the quantum discriminator is? It sounds very discriminatory if you ask me. Maybe it so separates nice. all of the different Maybe quantum particles from each other. Because segregation in the quantum world is apparently good for mechanics, I suppose? Maybe? I don't know. Dr. Hans, do you have uh, do you have thoughts on this? Do we segregate the car particles or do we keep them together? Hot topic. Alright, I'll take tin foil, it seems. No coals, no matches. None at all. It's beautiful out there, though. Nice. A pretty steep downslope. I guess I'll have to find another way. Interesting how they have a sanatorium in the small town of Trubabrook. Oh my god, I can go fishing! Mood for a snack right now. Why would I go fishing in there, though? I'm not in the mood for a snack right now. I 
personally, I'm also not in the mood for a snack. Although, actually, I could snack on things. What do I have at this desk? Eh, nothing of interesting. Mints, mostly. Employee of the month. You are employee of the millennium. I see. Yo, wait a minute. Millennium. Is this the Millennium Corporation? Very well might be. Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs! I see a hexagon. Nice. I saw September 1st. That was a prominent date that I saw featured, as well as a hexagon. That's cool. Come on, go that way. There we go. Interesting. Alright, well, let's check out what's downstairs. There's a little thing down there. I thought maybe if I double-clicked on it that I'd be able to get there faster. But that was not the case this time. Alrighty then. It looks like a light. It's a lamp. Oh, I can pick this up. I can shine the light in my room. Oh, an ultraviolet light. Interesting how they would just leave that around the desk. Sanatorium Paradiso, a bucolic sanctuary in the climatic health resort, Trevor Brook. Beautifully situated retreat. Health resort. Fresh forest air. Wooded mountain slopes. Yeah. High cuisine. I didn't see any cuisine, though. Which makes me think that it's not very high quality because it's invisible. Need the right combination. That's the obvious answer. What is in these papers? I wonder if I can brainwash the dude. Oh, look at that. Um. Uh, is my name on here? Hans? Hans? Hans, are you on here? No? Patient... Oh, I can't read that. Most of this is in German. Suffering from severe nostalgia. Reinstalt? Something. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Yeah, I can't read most of this. Although it looks like it's in German. Oh, I see. I can switch pages. I can barely imagine what these poor souls must have gone through. Wait, was there something interesting there, though? A list of patients. Okay, I see. Are there anything significant? I see a blood stain. This one had a little crease in the page. Hans, I saw, I see lobotomies. I see lobotomies. <clears throat> Helmut, nice. Um, am I in this list? I must be the most recent patient, right? I guess not. Imagine what these poor souls must have gone through. That's unfortunate. You, sir, how are you? Are you able to speak? You haven't made a move this whole time. You sound asleep, but I'd rather not push my luck. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch you. I will let you be. I definitely can't get out the door. Can't use anything on it, so I'm not even gonna try. It requires a key. I need the master key. As the snoring bully is sitting there. Okay, so I should lead you away by going elsewhere and finding Iron something bars. else. This place is a prison. Okie dokie, I guess I'm going back to my room then. Naturally, and with my UV light, I should be able to see what's on the wall now. Oh, but I need the... Did that work? Oh, there's a plug in the wall. Nice. All right, what does it say? Turn on the power. It's hard to decipher. Oh, can I not turn it on? Oh, I need to fix the fuse box. Oh, but I have tin foil, which naturally fixes fuse boxes. Oh no, I'm not really going to have to replace the fuses, right? What? My dad always used to say, "Son, whatever, whatever you, do, you do, stay away from the fuse boxes." Well, that's what I gotta do today. Nice, it worked. Oh, five zero seven eight. That must be the code to the lockbox. Nice. Well, thanks. I guess. Also, this isn't very much of an ultraviolet light. It looks like it, though. All right. Well, now I know the code. That's cool. Well, I guess I'll get out of here then. Come on, get out of here. Get up and out of there. I gotta go unlock a box or something. Somewhere down here. Now that I have the combo lock, I'll use the code 5078. Or maybe it's 8705, or perhaps it's 0785, or some other combination. It's okay. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna try all of them. I'm sure he knows the right one. Does it open? Is there the exquisite cuisine on the inside that I've been hoping for this entire time? Hello, welcome. Well, that seems to be heavy to include. Wow. They seem to be the medical records. The medical records of a male? Question mark. I question this man's gender. According to the patient, they were born in the year 32. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Dreadful and hideous, incapable of evil, evil thoughts. That's sad and mean. Interesting. Meatballs like, I like how he leans backwards in his walk cycle. This dude's got a lot of stuff going on. Clearly. If we had a PT around to be able to diagnose the issues, though, we might be able to rectify them through the power of positive moving. 
I think I've lost my group. I think I've lost my group. Oh, was I supposed no to say? More lame excuses. Excuses. We are going to perform the test now. They're performing tests now. Yes, back to your room. We have to know how you feel. Made me dizzy. Yes. Oh, what if I can get something to feel a little less drunk when these things occur? Can I play with these things now? No, okay. I guess we're doing this test again. Let's do the test. First image, it's a robot. Second image, it's it's daddy issues. And the other one. Alright. Yeah. All this rigmarole again. Well, I, well, I guess I performed the wrong thing. But I got the patient information, so that's cool. Okay. Knock on the door when you feel ready. I'm not. I'm not ready for this. No way. I think I'm sobering up again finally. Well, actually, maybe I can ask you other things. What a trip indeed. Can I ask you further questions now? Make the knockity knockity knock. Who's at the door? Hi there. I'm not ready for further tests. I want to go to the bathroom. Yes, of course. Of course, that's what I want to do. I want to go to the bathroom. Obviously, I can't just piss in the drain over here after all. I don't know what the good the water does me. So I'm not interested in that. I could turn it back on. The blood stain on the floor. Still doesn't make much sense. That would require a brute force to open. I have a clipboard. It's long. That's not gonna work. Alright, I guess I'm going outside again. I guess I just need to say the right thing to the dude. That's a little frustrated. Not a, not a fan of these earlier, like, you gotta say the right thing at the right time things. Although, it could be something completely different. Maybe I shouldn't be in there? No, I gotta. Mm. There was bars over here. I guess I'll go check out this lock again. Right? Or maybe I can go back up to the top room. Oh, maybe the clipboard is information in the top room. Maybe. Maybe I can do more with these papers. Nope. Uh, nope, not the fishing rod. Nope. Um, over the desk. There was a thing there. I knew that already. Oh, maybe I can put them up on the board. So many books. Maybe so I many books. Staying. No. No. I want to touch the wall again. Nope. That, did he, why'd you walk all the way over there, dude? Dude, stop that. Touch. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> Isn't that entertaining? <laughs> I'm in the loony asylum. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Alrighty then. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's a book. Did I read that book? I think I already read that book. We'll go back down to the book. That's what we'll do. I'll try to see if I can get myself out of this mental asylum. These puzzles are puzzling, as it seems. Sanatorium yeah, I already read that. High established cuisine. I don't know. I'll go back and do the thing again. Maybe I just gotta pick the right option. Maybe I gotta beat him upside the head. That's what I gotta do. I gotta use my my fishing rod to whack him. These seem to be the medical records. All right. Are you coming back for me? Interesting. All right. Detained for further examination. Patients seem to enjoy even the most dreadful and hideous shapes and patterns. Assumption to people incapable of evil thoughts. Oh, maybe I have to use these. Patient appears limp and exhausted. Rumor claims for their examination. Patient seems to enjoy the most dreadful and hideous shapes and patterns. Liking them. Uh... Blue greenish fluorescent secretion. Lizard test. Fifth and sixth digits of patient nearly 50% regrown. Both fingers completely regenerated. Oh my god, he's an alien. Okay, maybe I do gotta go back in there. I don't know. Uh, Meatball's power cut out and didn't hear what I said. Something about, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I, what I remember saying half the time. Interesting. Well, there's something about... I, I don't know. There's a dude here who's walking around with green gump coming out of him. Interesting. Do I have to be putting some weird puzzle stuff together? Oh, about the lean? Oh, I was saying about how maybe if we had a resident PT around here, a physical therapist, we'd be able to fix these problems that this gentleman is having. But alas, Anna's gone to sleep for now. That's okay. Okay, so I guess I need to... I guess I'm ready for your tests now. It's a little confusing. Yeah, I, I am ready for the test this time. The most hideous options. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. All right, let's try this one more time. I see clearly now. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure this out for a little bit longer, and if not, then I might 
I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how far I can get on this. This is getting rather confusing now. Come on, let's get it over with. Short evaluation. Sort of. The first thing that comes to my mind. First image. Um, war. Oh, I have different options now. I see. Unexpected. Okay. Second image is cruelty. Ah, I have different options for the questions now. He's gonna think I'm the robot. Unnecessary violence. Unnecessary violence. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. This dude has all the symptoms of an alien. And it's not just because I've literally asked you the same set of questions at least five times now. From one, very inaccurate, to four, very accurate. How would you rate the following? Another test? I often feel controlled by others. I often feel controlled. Uh. Yes. Four. I talk to myself frequently. Oh yeah, all the time. Or I don't bring matters to an end. Four. Let me say this loud and clear. It's a fear. Hi, <laughs> Ryan. That's funny. That future events are predetermined. Yes. Let's just say four on all these. Slumber morale. It's all fours. Four points. Four. Thank you. You're very welcome. Next, we are going to show you. A oh my God! There's so many tests here. Please describe them as elaborately as possible. This yes. color is uh so what do you say? uh Please one. It's a number. It's, it's not a color at all. Um um, aggressive. Aggressive. That color again. It's everywhere. Have you noticed? Got Literally aggressive colors all over the place. The number one just keeps on popping up. I don't know how to deal with it. Anything particular that meets the It's purple! No, wait, it's yellow. Um kitsch. Kitsch? I don't know what kitsch is. What's with the numbers? What's with the numbers? And isn't this the same color we just had before? This is not the same color. Now focus, please. I am attempting to focus as much as I can. And what are your associations with this color? That is most definitely purple. Threatening. Threatening. Purple is a threatening color. <laughs> what if all the mathematics were wrong? Was only balanced around hypothetical constants that can't have a singularity at the end by definition. Parameters on space time, they don't constitute them. This dude's a quantum physicist. Can you tell now? Always as much concept as it is a physical object. What if our brain is denying us to ever find out? What if our brain doesn't want to know the answers? You know, this isn't really optional if you had to put a name on this this shape, test is going on way too long that is most definitely Truda it's the woman at the front desk of the hotel it's Truda her name is Truda Truda like the mother I never knew oh my god <laughs> that was the lady at the place dot triangle Kevin Kevin wait maybe maybe I should be answering these series I I don't know. It's a triangle. 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 Trinity. The whole idea of the Trinity, the the, the Truda, the railroad car, and the cat thing. The three, the three wonders, wonders of the world, world. And, and all three of the important Beatles. The Illuminati. That's that. Now a few questions where you have to make it. I'm safe. struggling to make it. Would you rather have landed in Roswell or crashed on the moon? Crash land in Roswell? Oh, either's fine. Either's fine. Is fine. Technically, both would make me an astronaut. I want to be an astronaut someday. Would you rather be in the Cold, Cold War? War? Wearing short pants. Oh. In the very hot war, wearing an anorak. I would much rather be the, in the anorak. I refuse to answer. I would never give you an idea than the personal feelings about the weather. None of the above? I'm a pacifist. I'd go naked. <laughs> I love that answer. Would you rather have a hematome or sickle, sickle cell, cell anemia? anemia? Definitely. <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Actually, one of these already made me visit a real doctor. Why don't you take a guess which one it is? Was it the sickle cell Would anemia? You be the Franz Beckenbauer of rock and roll, or the Elvis Presley of Dude, some people who play this game are not even gonna get these references. Be Beck and what? Huh. Oh, thank you very much. I'll be the Elvis, actually. Uh, I'll refuse to answer this Do one. I need to be German to understand this. Would it then be funny to me? Yeah, what's so funny about Elvis Presley? Oh, thank you very much. With a shell or a 
turtle with wings. I want to be an eagle. Uh, I want to be an eagle. I want to fly like an eagle. An eagle with a shell would be an indestructible super eagle. We're in the sea. Thank you. You're welcome. Think of your childhood. How childhood long does this continue to go on for? Incredible. Uh, endless summer vacation. Kiss my bum. Dad, Aunt Lottie, Hansen ice cream. Uh, endless summer vacations. I remember those days. Summer vacation. Oh, those days. Those days were good I ones. Sometimes afraid of the day your true identity becomes uncovered. Literally all the time. Did I mention I'm I'm selling these fine massage? <laughs> I was selling these vibrators that I found at a hotel I was staying in. Could you be protected when the time is right? I shall reveal myself to all the world to witness. Yeah, that's great. I like that. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Aren't you? Yeah. Do you, you are the aliens. Feel that everything's just about to happen, while all of it has already. These been steps. Decided? These questions seem oddly directed. To be perfectly honest. Yes. 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 Yeah. I am oddly unsure about my answers. My dear Mr. Tenhauser, you have passed the associative test with excellent results. Thank you. I was most very made uncomfortable by that color purple you had on the board, but I suppose we're past that now. That's what this was all about. Real human. Apologize for the inconvenience, but one can never be sure these days. I am not a human. To track down and detain these aliens. Aliens, dude, you can't say that word. Come on, be more sensitive than that. I'll show you, Mr. Tedhauser. You are free to go. Please show yourself out. Thank you. I would like to take my leave of this place. I'm gonna grab that key I'm off the a wall. Being, a flesh and blood. And now, now I'm, I'm going home. Aliens, you must be out of your mind. I I don't think he's actually convinced that I'm not an alien. To be perfectly honest here, can I get that key off the wall? Okay, can I move now? There we go. Can I can I have can I have the key? I'm taking the key and I'm going home. My key. Thank you, Keith. You, sir, are an abomination. An act of illegal detention. But I like your hair. I love I love his eyebrows. They're so like bombastic. Bombastic eyebrows. Oh, I can go back here in this door now. Nice. Come on, go for it. What can be back there? There must be more to explore. Have I been in here for it yet? Oh, that's the room that I was in. Okay. Well, I didn't need that anymore. That's fine. Can I open that? I can't open the door yet. Interesting. Was I missing something? I, I feel like there was actually more, like, different secret things to each of these areas here. That was where I was before. Was there any place that I didn't fully explore yet? Up here, I guess. I didn't feel the need to go fishing. Can I go fishing now? I'm not in the mood, not in the for, mood a for a snack. Okay. Uh, none of this stuff. Okay, so clearly this place is trying to learn about aliens. And I may or may not be one of those aliens. I would suppose not. I don't think I'm one of the aliens. I think we just proved that I, I am very, in fact, much human. I'm human. Are you? One can never know, one can never know these days. Is this actually going to work? The key under the door, Matt. Dude, you're sleeping. You're fine. Alright, I guess I'm out of here. Is that the end? That's the end of chapter two. The Tannhauser Gate. Very interesting. Well, I think I've had myself a lovely adventure this time around. Although I am curious to see what lies on the other head of this head of this dream Hello? now. Hello. Anybody there? There is nobody there. Oh, I wait. I can walk around now. Wait. No, 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 no. Uh. What is this? No, that's okay. That's all right. That's that's where I'm going to end it here. If I want to, I will eventually... Oh, okay. Just kidding. It actually goes on eventually elsewhere. A little cutscene, I guess. I'm in the mining facility, and that's how it is. It is a very abandoned mining facility. I've almost caught up with Gretchen. I am... Well, this is the old mine. The dude used to own this mine here. I figured that out now. Well, aside from that... This is where I'm going to leave it for this evening. This was a beautiful little indie game called Trooperbrook. It seems like there's a little bit more of a continuing story going on here, and I'm curious about it. However, there's a lot of other games out there to play. I don't know. If this was interesting or entertaining and whatnot, feel free to let me know. I may come back to it, probably. I'll remember it. It'll be on the YouTube channel and whatnot, so I'll, I'll have a means to go back and remind myself of what goes on and whatnot. There's always that tough decision of, like, 
when to go back to certain games and whatnot, whether you start a new playthrough and whatever, but I don't know. That sounds like a question for another day's me because I don't feel like making that decision today, and I'm totally okay with that. So to everybody who came around and hung around for the adventure this time around, hopefully if you find yourself in the mines or somewhere in West Germany that you just, just take a moment. If you find yourself in West Germany in the 60s, think about it. You may be an alien. And in either in the otherworldly sense or the other country sense, nobody really knows, but apparently the Germans are concerned, and they should be, because who knows what lies under this mask of flesh that we have going on here. In any case, thank you everybody so much for coming along. This was a joy. I'm glad that I was able to get to play this one. It looks beautiful. It looks nice, and the story thing is cool, and there's some funny elements to it too. I very much enjoyed this. This is available on Amazon Prime Games. If you're into that stuff, I got it for free because of my Prime membership, so that's a pretty cool thing. They're giving out games like literally every single month. It's cool, but the game collection keeps growing, and it's also on Steam. So if you're into that stuff too, I'll um I'll probably throw that link in the description of the VOD that comes afterwards and whatnot. So if you're into that stuff, cool. If not, eh, we'll we'll do another one in two weeks. Maybe that'll be more cup your more more cup of your tea, so to speak. In any case, I'm gonna be heading off for the evening, everybody. So if you are doing the same thing, then I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. If it's the morning where you are, may the sun shine bright on your beautiful day today. And if it's the afternoon. Then, well, you know, you're like, you're like halfway there. Get over that hump. It'll be great. It'll be fine. I believe in you. Keep believing in yourself. Well, so long, everybody. Party on until next time, everybody. Bye!